Come on, baby, just work with me this one time. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus, bull sauce! Okay, all right, the physics in the game are not completely fixed yet. Hello, everybody, Gray Steel Plays, and we're back with more My Summer Cardo Type for BS, just here. Draining the lizard, you know how it is. It's the best way to start off your day in Finland. I actually don't know what time it is right now. We're gonna have to check that out. Anyway, while the golden stream is flowing into the porcelain god, let me tell you about what the plans are today. Today, I wanna do a little bit of adjustment to our vehicle, mostly just to get the black smoke out of there. Until we get the actual mixture gauge, it's, it's gonna be really tough to know exactly what the best mixture level is or what mixture level that we're at, but we can do a little bit. Oh, let's find out what the hell time it is. Hold on. If you guys don't know, there's a clock right over here so that you can find out the time. And a little bit past four. So we may have to wait until a new day eventually after doing this, and that's fine because I'm going to have to probably hit the sauna as well. So part of the things that we had is we had this thing stalling on us. And the other issue that we have with it is if we get down here and we look at the tires, we can see this thing has like maximum level derp right now. Maximum level derp in the tires. The tires are going opposite directions. This thing is essentially the sloth of cars right now. For those of you that have watched the Goonies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go over here. We're gonna grab our toolbox and we're gonna go ahead and haul it on over to the vehicle and we'll make a couple of adjustments. Like I said, these adjustments are really best kind of done in a professional setting where the mechanic can do them, but we'll do some of them by ourselves. So the very first thing that we can do is adjust as I fail as normal to pick up the fucking screwdriver. There we go. One of the things that we can adjust is the idle, not the idle screw, the mixture screw. I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to get our sweet ride started over here. We're going to look and we see black smoke pouring out the back. That is terrible. So we're going to have to change up the mixture. Mutant powers activate as we go straight through the vehicle. Now, if you look right about here, it's like all hidden behind this, the uh, air uh, filter. There is this screw here. We can open this up a little bit. And I'm actually gonna open it up right about there, I think. And let's see what kind of smoke we have coming out. Okay, good. Now we have like white smoke coming out. So that should be substantially better. Let's see how this thing sounds when we go ahead and uh, and crank it up a little bit. Our issue was, was we were stalling pretty bad. Oh yeah. Man, I gotta tell you, we just tuned this thing by ear and it doesn't sound that bad. Hold on, let's see right now. Again, our wheels are all jacked up, but we're gonna fix that in due time. Running pretty good. Doesn't, oh shit, oh god, okay. Don't wanna hit yonder tree right there. I also noticed, and I don't remember if this was there before, but if you look on the bottom right hand side of the screen, notice how it says one, it actually tells you what gear you're in. I don't remember that being there. All right, man, this, this is actually sounding really, really good. Um, again, we're gonna need to buy some parts today, and that is the other portion of what I had talked about. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off right now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to align the wheels a little bit because eventually we're gonna have to drag this thing probably behind the shitmobile over to the inspection area. We are going to take the crap mobile. We're gonna go over to LOP. We're gonna pick up our freaking van that's been sitting over there for the past, I don't even know how long, all week long. We're probably gonna do some shit jobs on the way over to get some money. And I'm gonna buy some things from the catalog. So this is a this is a long trip that we're gonna make because we're gonna go straight through Lop into the main town, Parayavari, I think it is. We're going to drop off our envelope there with our parts request, and then we're going to head on back and hopefully not flip and die. So before that, let's go ahead and see if we can adjust the wheels. So for this, you're gonna want a size 14 spanner, and that's one of the wheel adjustments right there. We're gonna start kind of bringing this in. Now again, I'm doing this by eye, mind you, so this is not going to be perfect. Like I said, right now we have the sloth of vehicles. I wanna turn it into like the Miley Cyrus of vehicles or something. I'm not expecting anything perfect. The one thing I noticed that's weird kind of about this nut is you have to like find out when you're fondling the nut, it's, it, you never fondle it in the same spot. Like, see how it disappears and you kind of have to, like, juke and jive around so you fucking find it again? Oh my god, was this thing out of alignment. Holy Jesus, I had to come on this side. A little bit easier to align from this side of the vehicle. Okay, that looks a lot better. Oh my god, that looks way better. Whoa, look at this shit! Hold on, two of our freaking lug nuts are undone. Was someone trying to freaking kill us? I don't- hold on now. 
I have a feeling someone would have mentioned if I had some lug nuts undone. Some rat bastards been been here trying to kill my Finnish ass, aren't they? Oh, this is ridiculous. Who would come all the way to the farmstead just to try and kill Gray? Oh my god, is anything else undone? Okay, all these other ones look okay. Way more adjustments to be done on this side of the car as well. Again, make sure that you can find the little nut there. It's just behind, like, sort of the back side of the, of the wheel here. Oh, and just so you know, you're rolling your mouse wheel in order to move this. Uh, when I move it up, it goes to the inside, and when I roll my mouse wheel down, it goes to the outside. Okay, that looks way better. I think I'm gonna name this thing Rocky Balboa, for those of you who know who that is. Just because this thing is like, it's like in an abusive relationship. I've beaten the shit out of this car. It's flown all over the place, bouncing all inside of our garage and getting hit by cranes and stuff like that. And it still loves us. It still starts up. All right, let's go ahead and crank this thing up one more time. We'll kind of back it up here real quick. And we'll go ahead and give it one more spin around the area just so I can see if it drives a little bit better. Let's take a look here. Um, now, it still pulls a little bit over to the right, but it is way better than it was. Oh my god, is it better. Oh yeah. Man, this thing, we're gonna be rally car professionals in no time. Let me put this thing back, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get ready to head over to town. Just waiting on the old sauna to heat up. Figured maybe I'd put in a couple of things here, and some headlights would probably be good, considering how freaking dark it gets out here. You guys know, it's not an episode of My Summer Car without me getting in the sauna at least once. You get so dirty so quickly in this game, it's like, it's like they want you to take the sauna all the time, which isn't a bad thing. The only issue is, you really burn through a lot of beer in this sauna because, oh my god, your thirst goes up quick. Just use the old 7 spanner here. These ones are kind of easy. They have two bolts right on the outside, so it's not actually that hard to find. I don't even think that these lights are like a left and right light. I think they're just light, so you can put them in however you want. Might as well throw the grill on as jacked up as possibly, too. Look at this angle that we're getting it on. Ha ha ha! Satsuma, baby! Looks like we got some size 6 bolts on this one right over here. Just two of them, so in the grand scheme of things, that is not too bad at all. Alright, we're gonna go get one of these bumpers on here, and then our, our sauna should probably be done. We need a size 8 for this one. And you got a bolt basically on the very, very furthest most sides of the bumper. There's the other one right there. Don't you freaking hide from me, you little rat bastard. Oh, yeah, there you go. Shut the old door so nothing gets jacked while we're doing our thing. Someone had said that, like, leaving the light on will possibly get your shit jacked, so I guess I'll turn that off. I'm not sure if they meant, like, if the door is open or... and the light is on or what. Let's go ahead and close our front door, too, because the last thing I want, again, is getting, like, skinned by some crazy bastard. Ah, and here we are. About to begin another new finish day, and the scent of ball sweat very, very quickly leaves our bodies, our finish bodies. But yeah, so we're gonna kill three birds with one stone. We're gonna pick up our van, we're gonna do a couple of sewage jobs on the way over, and we're gonna try and mail our letter for new parts for our vehicle. This should, hopefully, as long as I don't crash and die, this should turn out to be very, very freaking productive. Make sure you crack open a nice cold beer, and if you can, get it underneath the door. That's what the little slat in the door there is for. That was bad. Uh, hold on. One more try. I want one more try. Oh, it's gonna roll under there! It's gonna roll under! Ah, oh, so close! Hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Huh! Yes! Always make sure to turn your sauna stove off, or you will invoke the wrath of Brakele, the god of thunder. By the Lord of Turkey Nipples, it is a beautiful day. It's two o'clock too, so that is not bad. Let's go have a sausage that's just laying on the ground like this. Take a pee, and then we're gonna check out our magazines. Not the dirty magazines, the car magazines. Because I, we need to get at least one part and possibly more. I'm gonna see what else they have. If you guys have any suggestions on what parts we should get for the car, let me know in the comments section. I can't, I'm probably gonna wanna get, well, I'm definitely gonna wanna get the mixture thingy. And then maybe like an upgraded radiator or something. All right, parts catalog, what do you have for me? All kinds of like little grills and things of that nature. We don't have that kind of money yet. Wow, look at these freaking tires, man. Holy shit. 3,600 mackerels. People are calling them like, it's funny, everyone's calling the Finnish currency back in 1995 something different. It's probably all of us Americans doing it, but it's like I've seen like macaronis and <laughs> mac and cheese and all kinds of stuff. Fancy wheel, couple of leopard skin seats. That's what we want. Someone said it's the Sio Smitari. We want one of those for sure. 
And uh, we don't really need any of that bullshit yet. Oh, that's really fancy. Um, what do we got here? Holy Jesus. Oh, wow. Whoa, hey. Um, all right. Well, that's all very, very cool. Maybe, we're, maybe we'll grab one of these right here as well. Um, do we even have enough money to buy this? There we go. I think we do. Click on this. There we go. Now we've got our little envelope over here. Okay. Things are looking good so far. Um, I just... Shit. I just don't want to lose this envelope, which of course I'm going to do, because it's going to be flying all over the freaking place while I have to open doors and everything. Go ahead and sit down there, envelope. No big deal. Now this envelope, we're going to have to bring over to the main shop with the guy that always tells us, uh... Oh shit, what does he always tell us? What's his, what's his hello? Not hasta pasca, isn't that like smell of shit or something? Go ahead and grab a mincemeat pizza right here, throw that in there. And a case of beer as well, because driving without a case of beer in Finland is apparently some kind of crime, and I don't want to, I don't want to engage the wrath of, of y'all Finnish folks. <laughs> No, but really, you guys are amazing. I mean, pretty much all of you guys are simply fantastic. You're, you've been the best bunch of, of commenters I think I've ever seen. Um, oh, wow, this thing started right away. Okay, good. I was going to say, I'm supposed to let the glow plugs go on, and I didn't even do that. This thing started right up. Holy Jesus. All right, guys, we're off. I think we're going to head to Parayarvi first. This way, we'll grab, our, we'll grab our van on the way back, but I want to get this thing mailed right away. And plus, we are definitely going to need gas in this. So this is the farthest that I will have ever driven in this thing. So God, Oprah Kelly, wish me luck, because the chances of us making uh, the chances of us making it through all this unscathed are very, very low. But I'm gonna try my best. We have like very little urine. That sounds terrible. We don't have to use the bathroom. We are not thirsty, we're not hungry, we got a little bit of everything with us. And, I don't know man, I feel like I'm getting better at driving this big old boat. We're going right around 60 kilometers per hour on these dirt roads in this thing, and it's working pretty damn good. Quick little tidbit for anyone who wants to drive the big rig a little bit faster like this. I know some people have mentioned it, but I'm gonna go ahead and mention it too. When you're shifting the gears, normally you use G. As you can see, now we have that little, that little benefit of seeing what gear we're in in the bottom right. But also press R. That'll get you from the low gear ratios to the high gear. Well, I don't really know if they're called ratios. I think it's just range. I think it's called the low range to the high range. And that'll allow you to get much faster on the roadway. That's right, though, guys. We're going to get old Rocky Balboa tricked out hard freaking core. I just got to figure out what other kind of stuff we need to get for him. He has, uh, he's been with us through thick and thin. He has dealt with us putting in pistons backwards and everything else. So, you definitely can't hate on old Rocky. All right, let's see if I can make this turn without running into anything. Oh, okay, that was, that was not bad. Now, one thing that we're going to have to watch out for is Techno Viking, who every once in a while likes to go flying down these freaking dirt roads at 100 miles an hour. Well, 100 kilometers per hour with his music blazing. Now, we do have the big rig on our side, so I think if, if push comes to shove, we're going to crush his freaking cranium like a, like a, like something that gets crushed really easily. I don't know. Oh, while we're over by Parayarvi um, as well, there's two sewage areas over there I think that we can deal with. So we should be able to make like 2,400 bucks while we're over there. No crashes yet, guys. How do you like this BS, huh? For those of you that have been with me since the very first episode, you know what we've been through together. You know the horrors we've seen. I have died so many times at the hands of this game it's not even funny and part of me part of me lives in fear every time i leave my house that we will get on these dirt roads we will flip this motherfucker and we will die horribly oh god what the hell what the fuck was this what just happened we just stopped it just stopped perfectly Come on, baby, just work with me this one time. Oh, sweet mother of Jesus, ball sauce! Okay, all right, the physics in the game are not completely fixed yet. Oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, things are fine. We just got shot out of the... <laughs> this fucking rig just got shot like it was a slingshot. Oh, no! Okay, okay, think... Yes, okay. That's what I'm talking about, mother of Christ! The game's trying, man. It is trying to end our lives. Oh my God, did you see that? One minute you're driving inside of your sewage tanker. The next minute, 
gravity as we know it completely fades from existence. And the only thing that is left is to grab onto the closest thing by, which is usually a case of beer, and pray to Perkele that your ass doesn't go flying through the fucking windshield. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me how long you have to drive on this road. I always feel like I'm getting somewhere faster because like I'm getting used to driving and it's just not true. It's like, God, we've been driving for like 10 minutes. You guys have no idea how much of this game I have to cut out. Just because a lot of it is just me driving down the same finished back roads. Although every once in a while, I almost die. Like what just happened there. Did your sphincter pucker when you saw that? Because mine sure did. All right, and we've made it to the main highway. I feel like there's a lot more cars on the roadway than there used to be. Um, all right, things are looking pretty clear. Let's get going here. Now, this thing can go pretty damn fast if you let it. But I think we're going to go right to about maybe 80 kilometers per hour. I think that that's all that we're rated for and all that we're allowed. Hopefully we don't come across any police. I always have issues with the police. I think that the cars in this game finally drive less like assholes too. This guy looks like he's driving like a totally normal clip. Before that, everyone was going like 100 kilometers per hour and slamming into each other. I never caught any of it on camera, but oh my god, there was cars just, just slamming head on into one another. No damage or anything. They didn't damage each other. They just like bounced off of one another like they were made out of rubber. All right, here's the off ramp to the town coming up. Go ahead and shift down our gears a little bit here. Slow on down. We want to make sure that now would be the worst time for something bad to happen. For like another car to just come down this pathway and shove its metallic penis right in our eye sockets. Oh, wow. We're going to need some gas big time too. Um, I'm going to do those jobs after we get everything all filled up. All right, we're here, man. Parking brake on, turn the ignition off, and let's go ahead and spend a million dollars in gas. You gotta grab diesel for this big bitch. Now, if you remember the first time I filled this thing up in one of the episodes, once you get it lined up, just, just go ahead and, like, I don't know, take a shower or uh, learn how to do origami. The one thing that you don't want to do is be playing with your weenus. Do not play with your weenus while the diesel is going into the gas tank. That would be inappropriate. Speaking of inappropriate, one of the comments I saw, it was hilarious. I think it's the top comment in the last episode, so it's easy to see. But I got owned by someone's autocorrect. They were like, gay, this and this and this instead of gray. <laughs> and I totally missed it. I responded and I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then some dude was like, gay. And I was like, oh no, I got owned by the autocorrect. Strut straight in the balls. Actually, you know what? I feel bad just picking the name of the vehicle by myself. You guys have been with me the whole time. Let's do this. Come up with a name for the vehicle. Put it in the comments section. The one that gets the most thumbs ups, I'll name my vehicle that. It'd just be a little fun thing. Go ahead, if you want to throw some Finnish words in the name, go right ahead, like, I don't know, Satana's love child or something. Seriously though, no matter what it is, if it gets the most thumbs up, that's what's going to win. So if it ends up being like, Grace Turkey Nipple Express or something like that, then goddammit, that's what our car's gonna be named. But just remember, if it gets such a horrible name, you are all just as responsible as I am for it. Ugh, and I'm spent. Oh my god. The old girl here is a tough one, too. She's an expensive date as well. Just wait until you guys see the cost of all this. Oh, God. Make sure that we grab our letter here as well. Got a little mailbox right over here. Let's go ahead and go ahead and drop this thing in. Okay, I... Th oh, shit. I think it went in. I mean, like, I... I dropped it and it slid into the post box. Oh, I hope that worked. Yes, Hurvapave. Oh my god, a thousand marks. All right, whatever. Down to 1200, but that's fine because uh, we're going to be able to, like I said, do at least a couple of jobs while we're here. We're doing good on all the necessities. I don't really think I need any mosquito spray or anything. Yes, yes, thank you for visiting. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple of jobs done and kind of keep moving toward our van. All right, here's the one gentleman. We got a nice full tank of gas. If you guys remember, I think we pumped this guy's tank once before. So uh, hopefully we have a nice repeat customer over here. I think, is this the guy that we died on last time? I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and uh, open her up here. Go ahead and hop on out. 
Let's try and not die this time. How's the old sewage well looking? Looks like shit. That's perfect. That's what I like to hear. Go ahead and grab the piping. What does this say on his shirt? Someone said if you don't work, you don't get to make mistakes or something? Oh yeah, man. Oh, I'm becoming a pro at this bullshit. Oh yeah. See, it's like an earthworm. You gotta inch it, let- Oh Jesus, sometimes it kind of takes on a mind of its own. You gotta inch it, and- well, Stop flying out of the fucking sewage well, you jerk! Alright, once you got that in there, go ahead and start up your hydraulic pump. There we go! Yeah! Dirtiness meter is gonna start rising big time, but you know what? Money is money! I had to pull up a little bit. Our hose just was, uh, wasn't long enough to get all the way down there. Oi, V2, you're damn right! Get on down there! Yeah, baby! Sucks like shit. That's what I like to see. You know, the color of the sewage is green, and the color of money is green, so it all fits together. Well, I don't know, is, uh, our finish marks green? All right, man. He's very happy. Let's go ahead and take our money. We don't actually, I don't actually see the money. It's just, he's just holding out his gratitude, I guess. But his gratitude is worth 1,200 marks, so I'll take it, man. You kinda gotta grab it by the coils here to pull it out. Otherwise, you're gonna have a real sad time trying to get this freaking hose out of the hole. Oh yeah, baby. This hose can go real deep into the hole. Someone said, was I just letting all the shit back onto his lawn? Yep. There you go. Enjoy that, buddy. It's fertilization, basically. You're gonna, this place is really gonna be cropping up with greenery. Put the cover back on, nice and neat. There you go, that's close enough. And another successful job done and some more money made. Doing pretty damn good on the old Oi Veep 2 simulator. Now there should be one other house right over here that we can make some money at. This is our boy right over here. All right, let me see if I can kind of line this up real good like he's got a nice stretch of open land over here too so as long as i don't like go right over it i think we'll be fine okay right about there oh yeah this is perfect look at this right here guys hose is right nearby we're gonna shove this we're gonna we're gonna freaking penetrate the hell out of this hole hose is a little limp here so you gotta kind of help it along grab it by the back like this if you do you can like kind of like circle strafe it in look at that baby Turn on the old hydros. Oh yeah. There we go. While that's going on, let's go ahead and grab a quick something to drink. Little brewski right here. I wonder if we can get it inside of the old sewage well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, there we go. Right in the middle there. Oh, it's a little green mobile. I think that that's what you use as a hitchhiking if you get stranded out here. This guy, this guy looks strikingly like the other guy. Are they guys like long lost brothers or something? I don't know, man. The haircut's even the same. You guys smoking the same cigarettes? What kind of cigarettes do the Finnish smoke? He's like, are these like cools or something? All right, man. Just take the money and let's continue on with our lives. Thanks, asshole. All right. 1,200 more marks for us. We're back at 3,600 doing damn good. All right, we're going to pull our hose out here, and that's going to be it for right now. Oh, satana. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and call it a day for now. The sun's going down. I've been at this for a while. We made a ton of money. We got the parts ordered. And don't worry, though. We're gonna get the van. I swear to God, we are. And hopefully, we're gonna get those new parts for the vehicle. Make sure to leave your choices for what you want to call it in the comment section. I can't wait to see those. Guys, hope you're enjoying my summer car. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.